Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. With just a few filters and some quick adjustments, I'm going to show you how to make realistic snow falling. The size of my document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72. We'll start by making a new layer, so click on the New Layer button. And making sure you have black in your foreground color, click Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac to fill it with black. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Slide it to 200%, use Gaussian Blur, and check Monochromatic. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Choose the radius of two pixels. Press Ctrl L or Command L on a Mac to bring up the Levels window. We're going to make the blurred out noise look more like snow now. For the blacks, we're going to type in 127, midtones 0.74, and the highlights 169. These specs are a great mix of large, small, bright, and dim. We need to add a motion blur to this, so click on Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. I've given our snow an angle of minus 53 degrees, as if there's some wind in the air, and a distance of 10 pixels which seems to be just the right amount to simulate a camera's shutter speed. In order to see our falling snow, we have to change the mode from normal to screen. It's starting to look good, but it's not yet looking like a blizzard, so we're going to make the snow denser. We're going to duplicate our falling snow by pressing Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. I've divided our image into four equal quadrants by dragging out guidelines from the rulers. With our duplicate snow layer active, press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac, click on the lower right corner of the transform, and drag it to the center of our image. It'll snap in place if you click on View and make sure you have Snap checked. Press the letter V to call up your Move tool, and then click on anywhere inside the layer we just moved. With your mouse or pen still held down, press and hold Shift, and then slide your mouse or pen to the right until it snaps in place. We'll use these same steps to duplicate the snow and place them into each of the remaining two quadrants. To make it snow even heavier, you can repeat the process of rescaling the snow and placing it in different sections until you're happy with the result. We've created a blizzard that is photorealistic. It has true depth and doesn't look fake or overstated. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.